Uh, ALH 8401 was uh, discovered in, in 1984. Uh, it's unique among the Martian meteorites that have been discovered in that it's, it's about two and a half billion years older than any known Martian meteorite. And this uh, old age is, is important because it gives us clues about the processes that occurred early in Mars history. And so we uh, targeted this sample for analysis to better refine its age, but also to understand the uh, um, sources of the magmas that produced this rock and to relate those to other samples that, that have been well studied. This research took about 15 months uh, from start to finish where we processed the sample uh, into the chemical uh, separations here at the University of Houston, as well as uh, uh, in situ uh, uh, chemical analysis by laser ablation. Um, and then we took the samples to uh, University of Wisconsin-Madison, as well as NASA JSC, to uh, conduct the isotope analyses. The 4.1 billion year old uh, age of ALH 84001, um, this rock formed at an important time in Mars when it had water liquid water on its surface, and also Mars had a magnetic field. And this stone has been uh, um, the subject of considerable study because it, it is, uh, may have evidence for simple life. Uh, although it's debated, this rock formed during a period in Mars that was uh, um, favorable to the development of life. This rock formed uh, about 400 million years after the planet Mars formed. Other Martian meteorites of a suite called Shergatites formed uh, between about 575 to 150 million years ago, so much later. And what we found is that the source of the lavas that produced these sugar tights and ALH 84001 are related. And what it tells us is that the igneous and volcanic processes that are occurring in Mars now have likely been uh, occurring in the same way for about four billion years, given that we know now what Mars may have been like four billion years ago in terms of its igneous activity. The Earth uh, uh, may have been similar in, in that fashion uh, very early in its history.